guys, I'm Jay Dub. Today I want to teach y'all how I make my deer jerky. Now let's get to it. All right, guys, here's all of the ingredients you're gonna be using to make your deer jerky. It's real simple and I'll show y'all every step of the way. Let's get to it. All right, guys, step one, you're gonna get your tablespoon. And we're just gonna start out with what I got them in line. It's a pretty simple recipe. It's a tablespoon of all these ingredients. We've got cayenne pepper, we've got meat tenderizer, and guys none of this is the exact science, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. We've got onion powder. Garlic powder. And I go a little heavy handed. You got red pepper flake. Now this one, see I spilled a little bit. I do about a tablespoon and a half it normally. Now, we're gonna switch it up. Just regular table of uh, black pepper. And I've got half a tablespoon of it. All right, you got all your dry ingredients. I mix them up a little bit. Seems to be easier before you put the liquid in there. All right, got a nice seasoned powder mix in there. Now, we're gonna start on our wet ingredients. Now, just about all of these are gonna be a half a cup. So, we've got our teriyaki sauce. This is a teriyaki marinade. Half a cup of it. Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce, however you say it. Once again, doing half a cup. All right, guys, so now we got our soy sauce. All right guys, now we're gonna start varying from our half a cup. We've got our liquid smoke. Now, you're gonna kinda of do this one to taste. I start out with a tablespoon. And uh, out of there. we'll go from there, might add a little bit, might not. Just kinda of do it to taste. And then you've got your balsamic vinegar. Your balsamic vinegar, you're gonna do half a cup of it. And that's it, that's your basic marinade for one pound of deer meat. So we'll get this, bring it up, not to a boil. Actually, I forgot. The last ingredient for this is gonna be light brown sugar or dark brown sugar, whichever one you got. It doesn't really matter. And I like my stuff sweet and spicy. So we're gonna do about a half a cup of it. Once again, not an exact measurement. That's probably more than half a cup, but there it is. We'll go ahead and get the rest of this brown sugar and stuff out of here. All right guys, now we've got this, we're gonna bring it up to a low heat. And uh, you're basically just going to let all your sugar melt. Once your sugar is melted, let this cool back down to room temperature before you put it on your meat. And uh, I'll show you all that when we get there. All right, guys, so this thing's up to a decent temperature. 
I'm just going to kind of stir it up a little bit and just get you a little taste of it. That's pretty good. I almost want to add just a little bit more. We're going to add just a little bit more liquid smoke to it. We'll do, no, we'll just do half a tablespoon. That's a little bit more than half a tablespoon, but good enough. Now, this has already gotten up the temperature. Everything's melted in it. So we're going to cut ahead and cut that heat off, and we're just going to let this cool completely down right back to room temperature before we dump it on our meat. We're going to go ahead and get our meat cut up, and then uh, while, that's, while we're cutting that up, this should be cooling down pretty quick. We'll go ahead and remove it from our heat. All right, guys, so we got our meat here. I'm going to angle the camera downward so y'all can see it, and uh, we're going to cut it up. I'm just going to show you some different things I do with the meat. So let's get to it. This will be the, our bowl we marinate everything in. So I'm going to go through, get some of this meat out of the way, and this fat. Go ahead and knock that off. I think a lot of this has a lot of this already off of it. And here's a little piece here. The fat and the membrane that's on the meat. I try to get that off. It just makes the meat a little better. All right, let's go ahead and get us some nice little thin chunks. And guys, a good sharp knife makes all the difference on this. And I'm looking at about quarter inch pieces here. All right, so there's all that meat. So normally I do this with about, about a pound of meat, but I've got a little bit more than a pound here. So we've got all that white here. We're just going to sit there and work all that off. Just like you're filleting a fish. Just going to walk it off little by little. Got a little deep on that one. And say so all these little pieces, I don't throw them away because they make nice little bite-sized chunks of jerky when you're done. All right, so that one looks pretty good. We got a little bit over here I want to get off. A little over here. And uh, you can do the same recipe if you don't have deer meat. If you got bear meat, you can do it. Uh, you can go to the store and get a, a regular, like a roast and do this. I've done that when I didn't have deer meat. Either way, it works really well. I got one little spot down in here. Guys, be super careful with this. I know I've got some young ones that do that watch my channel. Do not try this without at least your parents' supervision. All right, now we've got a nice square edge to go with. Like I said, we're going to go about quarter inch. Now we're getting down here to the small part. And I don't want to cut my finger. I'm going to try to slice it right down the middle. And there we go. We got it. There's two more of those. And now this piece, we're just going to have to kind of pick around it. See what we can get off of it. Try not to waste too much. If you get a tough piece in there, it's not a big deal. You can still eat it. This stuff right here, you can still eat. It does get kind of chewy once you dry it out, but it will not hurt you to eat it. Oops. 
know it's not the prettiest piece, but I don't want to waste a big chunk of meat. So, at all that deer meat, this is all that we have that isn't any good for us. Actually, this one has a nice chunk here. Look at that big, big chunk of pure meat there. But at all that deer meat, that's all we've got that we won't be using. So I'll go ahead and we'll get this mixed in and I'll show you all that. All right guys, so we have our sauce that we made earlier. And literally, you're just gonna dump it in here. Get my spatula. Now this stuff is back at room temperature. It's been sitting here for about 30, 40 minutes. So right back down to room temperature. Get all that good sauce out of there. And man, I wish y'all guys were here. I really wish you guys could smell this. Now I'm just gonna take and mix it all up. And I'm gonna let this meat sit in this marinade for anywhere from one to maybe three or four days. And then every day I'm gonna sit there and stir this up. And you'll notice as this stuff sits here, look at that. You'll notice as uh, the days go on that you'll have less and less liquid in here. You get to around day three, day four, you're not gonna have much left in here and this stuff will be great. So I'm gonna cover it in plastic wrap and throw it in the refrigerator. All right guys, I didn't have plastic wrap, but I do have aluminum bowl, so we'll just be doing aluminum bowl. And this is ready for the fridge. Every day I'll open it up, stir it up, and in a couple days I'll show it to y'all when we uh, put it on the dehydrator. All right guys, so we've got our deer jerky here. It's been sitting in the fridge for about 30 days, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and load it up in our dehydrator. Go ahead and start laying this in here. Making sure to leave good space between all your meat and to lay it as flat as possible. mark and as it says all right y'all as you can see we're five hours and 52 minutes into it let's see how they're looking Oh yeah, as you can see right here on this one, I'll show you something that we're looking for. I don't know if y'all can see that moisture right there. We're waiting for all that to go away. Still got some of a lot of these other pieces, but it's starting to look good. Let's let it go for another couple hours. All right guys, so it has been right about eight hours. I don't know if y'all can see that. There we go. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. Go ahead and unplug that. And it looks pretty good. Test it. Let's see. Y'all see that? Nice, not pink on the inside. Looks good. Alright, we'll get a small piece, do a little taste test. Alright guys, so it is pretty crunchy. It's pretty good. I might let it go just a little bit too long, but hey, it's good and it's edible and it'll last a lot longer. All right, guys, depending on how chewy you want it and what you want it to, I guess the texture and consistency be like, depends on how long you leave it in there. I like mine to be a little bit more firm, but we keep it for a lot longer. So, you know, the more water in it, the less, the more perishable it will become. The less water in it, the longer it'll last. So just keep that in mind. We got them on this tray right here. We're gonna let them cool till they're completely, you know, room temperature. And we'll throw them on a plate. All right, y'all. So I left the set here, let it get nice and cool, put it on this plate, and uh, I went and took a nap. And when I woke up, 
half of my jerky is gone. Guys, the issue you run into with this stuff is it will not last. If someone finds it in your house, it's gone. But guys, this stuff is really good. Super, uh, it's got like a sweet and spicy taste to it. It's really, really good. Uh, to do it again, I honestly would probably add more, more of the smoke flavor. It just, I'm just not getting the smoky flavor that I want to pull through it. But other than that, guys, this stuff is really good. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And uh, make sure you smash that bell button down below so you can be notified of all my videos as soon as they come out. And uh, make sure you take someone outdoors.